Well, many of you do lead an active lifestyle, and Heidi did as well. She treasured biking, running, playing tennis, but when she was accidentally thrown from a horse, she suffered not only a severe con concussion, but also a massive neck injury that has left her in constant, unbearable pain. We sent her to Dr. Patrick Kerr. He specializes in chiropractic techniques that promise to help get her life back in order. So tell me, what's going on? Very tight through here mm -hmm. and up into the base of my skull. We're gonna, when we put you back in alignment, based on what I know about Heidi, she had to fall off a horse and it's pretty far away to fall. It's traumatic when you land on your head and it shifts away from the neck. Using the instrument, we're gonna realign how your head is on your neck. We're going to x-ray you and then we're gonna begin treating you and making you feel a whole lot better. Here are Heidi's shoulders. This is the first bone in her neck. You can see that Heidi's is not sitting level. It's sitting tilted. One of the things that happens when you come out of adjustment, your right hip is getting pulled up. Do you feel that? I feel that. We're going to use the instrument to send a vibration towards the top bone in the neck. So we put the instrument directed towards the atlas and the impulse comes from the instrument right into the neck without cracking the neck. It's just a slight impulse. And as that happens, it immediately changes the position of the head. So as we do this, the muscles to start to begin to relax. And you can see the leg is coming down when you look at the bottom of the heels. This was about a half inch short. How's your neck feel? feels much more relaxed. I think what we're going to see with Heidi is that we're going to give her the ability to function perfectly. I expect all her symptoms to resolve completely. I don't have a headache. I feel much, much better than I have in a long time. It's pretty cool. I turn 50 tomorrow, and I'll feel better at 50 than I did at 49. <laughs> There's no question about that. Chiropractor Dr. Patrick Kerr performed the procedure on Heidi. He's here with us, and first of all, you're smiling, you're moving your neck around. The only thing you're complaining about is how cold it is in here. I feel amazing. I have complete movement of my head. I have no pain in my neck. I haven't had a headache since Monday, which is a complete change. I mean, I've had a headache for months and months. The tension that was moving up the sides of my head is gone, and my temper is much better. <laughs> so how is this different than traditional techniques? Uh, in most chiropractic procedures, they use manipulation or cracking of the neck and head to try to reposition the vertebra. With atlas orthogonal, we use a specially designed instrument to gently realign how the atlas, the first bone in the neck, sits underneath the head and it rebalances the entire spine. So Patrick, walk me through in this animation what's going on inside the neck. What you see here is the top bone in the neck. It sits right up underneath the skull and it should sit level with the center of the head being directly above the center of the neck. This instrument that we use sends a vibration to gently reposition the atlas directly to where it should be without the use of manipulation or cracking or popping the neck. And show me on the skeleton mm -hmm. how this procedure might work. So this skeleton actually is really misaligned. So when you look at the top bone in the neck that sits right up underneath the skull, if you look at this model, you see how this is sitting tilted. And actually, in this skeleton, the spine is shifted away from where it should be. So we would take an x-ray from the side, from the front, and from the top to get a three-dimensional view of how this atlas bone and cervical spine are sitting underneath the head. Once we have that, we know how the patient is misaligned. Then we use this instrument. It looks scary, but it actually is very painless. We would position the instrument right up underneath the head, directed towards the top bone in the neck. The patient doesn't feel the adjustment. It's a vibration. There's nothing going into the neck other than a slight vibration. So what the patient would be lying on their side, have the instrument here, hear the click of the instrument, but not feel anything to the neck. Now what that does, it gently realigns the atlas, repositioning the head, and shifting the entire spine. Because if the atlas is misaligned, the and, hips are and let's look at misaligned. Heidi's before and after x-rays right. because she was clearly misaligned before these pr procedures were right. done. Here's the position of the atlas that is unlevel and the cervical spine has shifted away from where it should be. 
And here's the post-adjustment x-ray with the atlas down level, center of the head above the center of the neck so that the brain tissue can communicate with the body. And, and a little trivia, if you're ever asked this in Trivial Pursuit, the way you remember that it's Atlas, that's the first bone in the neck. Atlas is the Greek god who holds the world on his shoulders. That's how we learned it in medical school. Absolutely. So you never forget it. Um, so this is clearly an effective technique, but for people who can't get this procedure, what are things people can do at home to prevent these neck pains right. in the first place? The first thing people should do is have proper sleeping positions. Stop sleeping on the stomach. That is a big problem with the neck. Stop sleeping on the stomach. Stop talking on the phone with your head towards your shoulder because what that does is it starts to misalign the atlas and starts to shift your body. And, and other things, you know, besides that, quick tips? A big thing, quick tips, is that if you feel like you have to stretch or crack your neck, you have a problem. So we don't recommend stretching the neck or certainly grabbing your head and twisting your head and, and um, trying to get it to move. So, so don't sleep on your stomach and don't try to stretch your neck. Thank you, Dr. Kerr. Thank you, Heidi. Good luck to you. If you want more information on the Atlas Orthogonal, go to thedoctorstv.com. Do you want to look younger by morning? Stick around. Plus, if you're frustrated with the little everyday reminders that you're not as young as you used to be, listen up. 